Last year I didn't get a chance to do the uh, 2022 version of the Electronics Engineer Gift Ideas video, but I think it might be beneficial to have such a one-year break because the tools that I like the most and the tools that I use the most here in the lab do not change that often. If I have something good, I'm not going to switch to the next thing as easily. So it takes a, a, a while until I can gather a new set of recommendations for you. This video should serve as inspiration either way if you're an engineer or if you're a non-technical person that is just looking to purchase a gift or some neat gadget for an engineer friend. As you may be aware, there is the really important and big 11.11 .11 shopping festival happening across Asia. So uh, a bunch of these products might be available for great discounts during this time. So make sure you check out the links available in the description. Number one on my list is some high quality ESD protection. I got all of my ESD protection mats from We Electron. they are based in Germany and the stuff they sell is just high quality. There is no bad smell when you install these in your lab and you can order them in various sizes. For example, I recently got one of the smaller ones, the 90 by 60 centimeters to create this ESD safe corner on my computer desk and I think this would uh, work great for smaller workbenches as well. They come in either blue or gray color and they have a number of properties like they're heat and solder resistant or chemical and oil resistant, PVC free, they have an anti-reflective uh, finish uh, so they don't strain your eyes. They have these uh, metal push button connectors for hooking up to mains earth with the various accessories also available in their shop. So I highly recommend you check these out. And while you're in the Wii Electron shop, number two on my list is the new Raspberry Pi 5. And normally I wouldn't recommend stuff that I haven't tried yet, but given the reputation of the Raspberry Pi, I don't think I need to actually try the new Pi 5 because every engineer and every nerd out there is going to be happy receiving one as a gift. We Electron is an official distributor of the uh, Raspberry Pi. And actually exactly as we're speaking, uh, my Raspberry Pi 5 that I pre-ordered a month ago from Wii Electron has been delivered uh, by DHL so I can't wait to play with this. I'm not sure if I should go into the details of the new Pi 5 and how it's superior to the Pi 4 but it is a beast with up to three times performance boost in CPU and the new PCI Express Gen 2 interface exposed and also a new RTC module which many people will appreciate so it's just an iconic geek, pro geek product that got even better with this upgrade. So you can't go wrong with one of these, especially right now while they're fresh on the market. The sponsor of this video is PCBWay.com, a professional PCB manufacturer with excellent quality and fast turnaround times. From two layers to advanced multi-layer flex rigid PCBs, PCBWay will have you covered. You could also try the new module store on their website where by using bonus points or cash you can purchase a great variety of electronic modules and related tools. Check out their website link below. Number three on my list is a thermal camera and this is not necessarily in the order of their importance because each one of these items presented in this video is as important as the others and I would be very happy to receive a gift with any of these. It's just how I structured the video. But the thermal camera, if chosen correctly, will enable a boost in productivity and will unlock new skills for an electronics engineer. In terms of thermal cameras, I have quite a few of them and each specializes in a particular job. So there isn't really a one-size-fits-all. For example, for PCB inspection, you can't beat the DIT Spectrum Owl that I reviewed in Volog 384. This will always be my go-to option whenever I need to inspect a PCB that I'm debugging on my workbench. However, this needs to tie into a PC, so whenever I need to be portable, I always prefer either the Unity UTI-260B or an Infiray P2 Pro. The uh, Unity UTI-260B is nice because it's rugged and has a built-in display, so it's an all-in-one tool that you can just put in your backpack, uh, but it comes in slightly more expensive and it's not really good for PCB inspection work unless you purchase the optional macro lens. The Infiray P2 Pro is much more appropriate for PCB inspection uh, than the Unity because it comes with a macro lens included. Uh, it's much more compact, but it depends on a smartphone to function and comes in at a lower price, which makes it a very popular option both as a gift or uh, as a buy-it-yourself. I will be linking in all three options in the description. 
and you can select based on your needs and budget and I highly recommend you watch my review videos for each one of these. Number four on my list is the Sugon 8650 Hot Air Station. This is a rather new addition to my workbench. I reviewed this hot air station in Volo 452 and I was impressed. It's been my daily driver for the past four and five months and I'm telling you it literally improved my soldering and rework capabilities and it does all of this while having a very well designed user interface and front panel. It's built with high quality parts and a high quality construction. I haven't seen anything like this before and if you need a hot air station and you want the best go for this one i promise you it won't disappoint it can regulate temperature very precisely it has a huge amount of power at 1300 watts and a huge air volume capability at 200 liters per minute there is practically no rework or soldering job that this thing can't handle presets are easily accessible from the front panel or even the handle itself it is very easy to make adjustments, it comes with all of the tips you could want included in the box, it really is the best option out there. Number 5 on my list are these cute little FNIRC USB power monitors and while they look very modern and fancy, it not just looks, these are high quality USB power monitors with very interesting specs and I've been using these for the past 2 or 3 months and I really like how capable and precise they are. The model numbers on these are FNB58 and FNB48. They do support USB Type-C PD up to 28 volts, which is practically the highest spec that you can find on the market, as well as all of the other well-known protocols for charging. They have 16-bit ADCs, which gives them crazy resolution like 10 microvolts and 10 microamps. Does cable chip detection, it has Bluetooth for data logging. And I haven't really done a full review video on these uh, because of my limited uh, time resources, but given that they've become my go-to tool whenever I need to measure USB power, that has to count for something. They are really good, so I can recommend them. And for this year, I kept the list short, just five items, uh, because there is always the previous year's videos that I did where you can find all of the other items that I mentioned. Those are still likely in use here in the lab and I still like and I would recommend those uh, tools and gadgets. It's just that there's no point in keep repeating them year after year. But rest assured, I still use that stuff daily. Uh, and I mean the go for uh, power supplies, the JBC soldering station, uh, various small bits and pieces like the Weha uh, screwdriver set. But to help you with that, I will link on screen right now the previous uh, gift idea video so you can check it out. That was all for today. Thank you for joining me in this video. Make sure to hit that like button and I will see you next week.